Hello, I'm with Richard Liu, who is president of Huawei Cloud Core Network Product Line. And I'm going to be talking to Richard about 5G private networks. Now, the first thing I think would be good to establish is what is the difference between 5G private network plus and last year's plain old 5G private network? I mean, what uh, problems does the plus version solve? Okay. Uh, from the name, you can see the difference. You know, uh, 5G Private uh, Network Plus is mm. uh, aggregated version than last mm. year. Mm. Uh, during the past year, you know, we collaborated with the China operator, especially China Unicom, to do mm. a lot of innovation because we found a lot of requirements mm. from enterprise users and new scenarios. Mm. So we focus on three aspects yeah. uh, to how to say. Uh, increase the ability of one cloud, you know, mm. 5G private network uh, mm. plus solution. And the first uh, aspect is uh, network capabilities. The second one is uh, industry adaptions. And mm. the third one is mm. scale uh, replication. Yes. Uh, all of these uh, three operators are very important yes. to, how to say, to accelerate the 5G B2B business. And uh, for the network uh, capability itself, you know, mm. for the uh, um, wide area solution, uh, mm. being able, uh, how to say, or uh, uh, enterprise customer to use slicing, uh, for instance, uh, for the power grid solution mm. to do the isolate uh, uh, for security for uh, mm. for the resources, and for the local area solution, yeah. we also you know how to say um, increased the capabilities. For instance, we can use uh, uh, in inner uh, internet yes. uh, to connect a different, you know, uh, universities, campus internally, mm -hmm. and uh, we also, you know, uh, do a lot of, you know, uh, industry adaption. Yeah. For instance, we enab enable uh, the um, um, how to say machine vision based uh, the machine inspection mm -hmm. solutions mm -hmm. or some other, you know, industry solutions. So the f final thing is all of these we should have a methodology to support scale replication. Yes. Uh, let me give an uh, example. Uh, we have a partner uh, called uh, Fairtech, right. and he have a uh, lot of campers mm -hmm. across country. You know, uh, there are, uh, if they want to use 5G, you know, there are different, you know, yes. uh, uh, run access uh, technologies, mm. yes. uh, different campers situation, and they have uh, plenty, you know, uh, the third part applications, um, uh, before, you know, uh, if they want to establish a new campus, it needs several months yes. Yes, to copy mm. the mm. IT systems, uh, application systems. We collaborate with China Unicom and mm. Fairtech together, and uh, we baseline the configuration, we baseline has a subscription and the provisioning, mm. all of these things with the MEC platform. So, so far, you know, we just uh, use you know, several weeks can finish mm. all the new campers. And yes. I think in near future, we can reduce it to several days. Yes. So uh, I think all of this is what we want to use Private Network Plus yes. to resolve. Yes. And uh, you've mentioned replication quite a few times, uh, large scale replication yes. of 5G private networks. Now, I understand you've got um, a partnership with China Unicom, and you've actually managed to achieve that. Yeah. Uh, perhaps you could give us some details about um, the progress. Okay, mm. so uh, you know, uh, because it's one cloud, mm. yeah, it's very important. And one cloud mm. means what? Means you know, the collaboration model between operator mm. and vendors mm. to change, to mm. change. If we want to embrace the uh, new opportunities, mm. so you know, we collaborate with China Unicom, yes, and we. Uh, enabled uh, one cloud architecture. So that means 100% mm -hmm. market share, w one vendor, mm -hmm. and uh, we use one cloud uh, NFVI to support you know, the B2B uh, VF. Mm -hmm. So that means across the country, we have a centralized you yes. know, country plan, and we can uh, copy all the functionalities mm -hmm. uh, to everywhere immediately, mm -hmm. because we have uh, one, how to say, uh, vendor you know, uh, cloudification mm -hmm. architecture. And you know, China Unicom collaborates with mm. uh, partners, establish a centralized MEC platform. Yes. So you, we use this platform, we baseline and streamline the mm. configuration, provisioning, mm. and to chain. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So all of these mm. is very important. So mm. uh, you see why we decided we want to introduce IT to CT mm. because IT, you know, they have some advantage of agile. Right. But what's the key points of agile? 
It's just like what I have mentioned, the provisioning, the subscription, and uh, this kind of, you know, the yeah. IT platform. But anyway, for city itself, if you want, you know, enterprise use telecommunication yeah. infrastructure as a foundation, you must guarantee them, you know, the yeah. reliability has no problem. And mm -hmm. even, this is even higher than the traditional, you know, we call uh, six, nine level yes. liabilities. Mm -hmm. You know, the industry, yes. uh, okay. they cannot tolerate any outage. Sure. So we combined the CT reliability and IT agile together. Mm -hmm. I think this is a key point why we uh, collaborate with China Unicom yes. can uh, achieve the, uh, the three, how to say, aspects. Yes. The, yes, okay. the compatibility yeah, yeah. and the replication. Yes. Okay, let's talk about carriers overseas. I mean, what suggestions would you give to them to stimulate the 5 g to b market? Okay, you know, the different country, different region, uh, they have different, how to say, uh, the development mm. of 5 g So, uh, what we already, how to say, summarized from the uh, China market, I think can also be yes. helpful for overseas. And uh, the first one is, you know, before uh, Bitcoin business uh, was developed, you know, we should support our breacher, you know, yeah. just uh, give uh, effective investment. Mm -hmm. So we suggest, you know, establish a cloud convergence core to support, you know, B2B and B2C business as well. Yes. And uh, if there is uh, some potential business from a customer, uh, they just uh, deploy it, you know, MEC, they send to their campus. So that means, you know, they donate, put a lot of investment mm -hmm. in advance. Now before they already de developed the B2B business. And the second is the connectivity ability is very important for mm. MEC in advance. So firstly, we should you know, keep, uh, how to say, support our breacher, use MEC uh, to enhance the connectivity, just like um, uh, positioning, uh, just like some uh, you know third part application um, uh, i mm. mean onboard uh, onboard in you know, abilities yes. so use this way to let you know the operators can sell uh, how to say 5g uh, dedicated line yes and uh, the last one is you know reliability very important mm. so why we give the you know Calac solution Catalyst yeah. solution means you know the operation was centralized yeah. to reduce uh, the OPEX cost. Yes, yes. But you know, according to the different requirements from end users, uh, in case of some, for instance, you know, fiber was cut, you know, we can descend the control plan and user plan deploy to edge yes. at the same time. And when the fiber recovered, the control plan can come back to centralized DC. So use this way to resolve the confliction between, you know, the op op operators, so you won't, you know, do the, how to say, public cloud, mm. but the enterprise, uh, they ask the private cloud uh, to resolve these conflictions. Right, okay. Yes, yes. Th uh, this is my suggestion for oversee yes. uh, 5G. Okay, well, let's just talk very briefly about AWS private 5G. It was mm -hmm. recently launched, wasn't it? And they were saying, I think they could roll out a private 5G network very quickly within some days. What's the difference between the PLUS approach and yeah. the AWS approach? Okay, uh, so uh, it's a long story. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Because you know, uh, mobile air computing yeah. has been a, to a hot topic for several days. Yes. You know, uh, there are a lot of approach. In the mm. public cloud is approach and mm. the telco cloud approach and uh, the spectrum owned by operator is approach and mm. the uh, spectrum was open spectrum and yes. owned by the enterprise mm. itself is mm. also approach. Mm. Uh, so let's see, I think every, uh, every uh, approach uh, should okay. do innovation to match the requirements from an enterprise. Mm. If yes. you can make the enterprise customer happy, you can achieve, you know, not just a yes, concept. Okay. But you know, anyway, anyway, you know, telco cloud. Mm. Uh, during the past uh, several years, a lot of practice and innovation, and the reliability, I think, yes. is most suitable for the enterprise. Okay. Uh, but you know, telco cloud operator also must uh, change something. Mm. Just like I mentioned, China Unicom, they do a lot of uh, you know transformation for MEC platform. They change their mm. uh, subscription. They change mm. their. Uh, uh, provisioning, I think this is also necessary. And for public cloud, you know, they also need change. 
yeah. if they cannot match the reliability, right, cannot okay. match the mm. operation maintenance requirements, yes. they cannot gain the, the market. That's right, yes. yes. yes, yes so yes. practice and innovation, let's see. Yeah, practice and innovation. It's been great talking to you and getting your insights about 5G private networks and where it's headed. Great talking to you. Thank you, Richard. Okay, thank you. Thank you.